Okay, so you have been walking all day, and you just you just can't go another step. You just you're just tired. And you look over, you see a staircase, and you say, "Thank goodness that staircase is going down." Well, wouldn't it be nice if mortgages did that too? Well, it turns out they do. And if you hang tight, I'll show you how. All right, so in this particular video, we're going to study something different than a constant payment mortgage, which is probably what you're used to with either your home or a normal commercial loan. This one's a specialized loan. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze the fee structure uh, of a, something called a constant amortization mortgage and what that real cost of capital is. It's kind of a short video. There is some longer videos down in the description down below that, that go into more detail. So if you get some time, you can build an amortization table. And there's also a comprehensive video that covers a constant payment mortgage and a, and, a, and a constant amortization mortgage and along with a graduated payment mortgage. Big, long video, okay? But it's down there as well. Uh, if you get time to watch it, it's really good. And it'll teach you how to build some of these tables and what you can use them for, all right? Now, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and get that no bell notification so you get more videos as they come out. All right, enjoy. Okay, so this cash flow reflects the fee. This is without the fee. And you can take a look at what you paid for that difference in money. So you get your 4.06 in cash flow or in, in uh, interest, which your effective rate with the fee in it is 4.32. So you paid a difference of that. And this is also your net present value here to the bank with, with, with uh, cash flows or with the fees without the fees. All right. So now let's take a look at our, our constant amortization mortgage without fees. And you can tell from the very top, first of all, this is different. This is a 30 year mortgage. So we looked at that one. So you're, your your payments are going to be smaller, but and your 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 principal is going to be be smaller too. So your amortization amount is is less. But again, at the end of this, it still equals to zero. So you're amortizing constant payments. All right. Now, in this particular case, because there was no fees, the um, internal rate of return of those cash flows are the same, which makes sense because there's no there's no fees involved. However, this is your cash flows for your net present value of this. Take a look at this amount right here, and let's go back down here and take a look at our constant payment mortgage. Notice that there, this one's a little bit more than this. That's a little bit more money in the constant payment mortgage. This brings up some serious questions that your bank may have with you because they may want some type of maintenance fee on that. They want that money. All right, so when we take a look at our, our, our second version here, it's the same thing except this time we have a fee in it and you paid 0.26 or 0.2 more for having that fee in there on that incremental cost of capital. All right, let's take a look at our third term. This case, we are doing it at 3%. Notice that the amortization amount's the same, but your interest is different, okay? So our cash flows came out different. So the cash flows to the bank are 3.18% because of the the uh, um, the the fees charged, and of course you still have if without the fees it'd be the effective rate would be three point oh. So you paid 0.18 percent on that thirty two thousand dollars. Is what that meant over the over the term of the note. So let's take a look at the results of all of this. So here's the results in our demo where we had a two hundred and forty month payment. We had three point two uh, or four point three two percent internal rate of return with a net present value of uh, $1,284,157.39. Well, that one, that one went wrong here. Actually, you know, you can go in there and adjust this. Let's just format that cell real quick. We can form it to a currency. Hit OK. There we go. Looks much better. And you can, you can study these loans as they're going across the top as the kinds of, as we change the terms. And it gives you a lot of insight as those cash flows. All right. So if you had a chance to look at, and analyze that, you probably saw how those fees were structured in there and how that affected your overall cost of capital, okay? And it, it's different than a constant payment mortgage, as you might see, if you get a chance to go down and take a look at that video so you can actually see the analysis of that too. But uh, you have to take that into account. Now, we did not go into super detail of all the different things uh, that, that go on with these notes. Uh, we'll do that for, uh, for future. Stuff. But this was just really more of an introduction to uh, constant amortization mortgages and what you can use them for. Well, actually, 
I'll tell you, you use them for a situation where your leasing is declining or your, your inflows of your cash flows are declining. And if you've seen a couple of my other videos in there where we talk about the nature of, of finance, you know, the key things that we're looking for are magnitude of cash flow, time into cash flow and risk of cash flow. In this particular case, if you don't have tenants because you're losing them, you want your cash flows to match up with it and whatever that is. Okay. Now, on the end of this video, I'm going to put a, an end card up with the next suggested video up. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you.